so if you were paying attention, then you will obviously understand the how to find the left-hand derivative, like that. Um, we <laughs> we want to we want to find the right-hand derivative now. This, yeah, it would help if you guys would be quiet. If you want to find the right-hand derivative, this is the tough part because you're using a different function to the right of one than you are at one. If you look back at the definition of this function that you're using here, to the to the right of one you're using this function, to the at one you're using this function. We're aiming for it like we're we're supposed to confirm that the slope is positive one on the right and negative with negative four on the left. We already found that it was negative four on the left by going through the long definition here. Well, you're just trying to show like we already, I mean, from the calculator, you can see we're trying to confirm it with algebra. You need to use the two different functions. And this is why when we were doing definition of derivative, you guys were troubled when you had to use x plus 2 for this one, but uh, 5 minus 2x squared for this one. You were uncomfortable when it was two different functions. So this is x plus h, or actually 1 plus h, sorry, because we're using that plus 2, right? Minus 5 minus 2 times 1. And I should put brackets over h. This ends up being quite simple after you do all this. What do we have here? 3 plus h minus 5 plus 2 over h. Because the second function, I use this one because it says at 1, the function value at 1. Which one do you use at 1? At 1, look back at the definition. There's one that you use at 1. This works out to 1, which is what we expected it to be, right? You get h over h, which is 1. And the people, you do because it's the value, it doesn't matter. It's the when you have to do it the other way that it would cause problems. Uh, so this, I ran out of room here. Oh, but I can create some more space. I know, it's terrible. I don't know if they're equal. Zero one. equals one, right? If you're, yeah, so then the left-hand derivative does not equal the right-hand derivative. Negative 4 does not equal 1. Therefore, the derivative's undefined there, right? Yes. Good job. Glad we recorded the bell there.